Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, we will learn how, how modeling and clean it crack propagation in plate using extended finite element method XFAM. We will learn how to create crack in the model and allows the crack to grow and propagate to simulate and see the shape of failure. Let's get started. Let's start first with creating of our plate. Plate or sheet, 3D sheet. See the formable solid extrusion. Continue and let's create our sheet sketch. Let's add dimensions in our sketch. 100 millimeter in the length of our sheet and millimeter in the width. Click, click on. Let's add the thicknesses of our sheet two millimeter in the width. Click OK. Now we have our plate for simulate our crack propagation. The second part. Let's create our crack geometry. Crack 3D deformable gel planner. Let's create continue. Let's create a line and dimensions. We need to add dimension for this line. This represent this value represent the the length of our crack. We need to simulate. Don't now. Now let's add and we need to add two millimeter in the width of our crack. Click done. Now we have our crack represented by shell element, shell part. Now let's go to property and create our material. For example, steel, steel, neural elasticity, elastic. Because we have our dimensions in millimeter, we need to add our Young modulus in megapascal. value of ratio and young modulus now let's go to damage for traction separation laws and maximum principal stress is equal to and also we need to add sub option we add displacement at failure, displacement, not energy, or you can choose energy at failure. Let's add to 0.5 millimeter in displacement. Click OK. OK. Now let's create section. She section steel. Solid, homogeneous, continue. Steel material, continue. Create section. Now we have section. Let's assign section to our sheet metal. Assign section, select part, click on and click OK. Now we have material in our sheet. We are assigned material to our sheet. Now let's go to assembly module. And we need to, to create instance, apply OK. First, we need to rotate this crack, but I think we need to change dimensions of our crack because it's very large. I think we need to make it edit. Let's change the 
length of our crack, of our crack. Then we have mirror in our display. Now edit. Apply. Okay. Let's go to assembly. Now we have a crack. Let's rotate this part instance. Select, click on, and select axis of rotation. The first point in axis, the second point in axis, degree of rotation, 90 degree. Click on. Now we have the crack in the correct side and the correct position. Let's now we need to rotate this crack with 30 degree. Let's select, click done, axis of rotation 30 degree. Now Now we need to move this crack in the position in our sheet. Click on select this point to this point. Now we have crack in this position. But I think you need to move in the middle of our sheet. Let's create middle point between these two points. Now let's move our crack instance to the middle of our sheet. Select, click on, and select this middle point. Move to this point. Now we have crack in the in this position with thirty degree. Click OK. Click on. Now let's go to step for analysis step. Static general continue. Automatic stabilization. Incrementation. Also, we need to minimize the increment. And Now let's go to file output and select failure parameters, failure data and contours, also status, XFEM and now click OK. These Parameters should be shown in our OTB output and in our contours in visualization. Click OK. Now let's go to let's create reference point in the top surface in the, this top position for apply load. But first let's create point in the middle between these two points and let's create point offset in the y direction 10 millimeter click ok now we have this point in coordinate this coordinate let's create reference point in this position tool reference point select this point now we have reference point Let's go to interaction module and in this module we will create crack XFM create crack one crack 
Let's select the correct domain. Select these. Correct domain this wall model and let's region of crack to select these crack crack parts. Crack location in the crack region represented by sheet metal and crack location. If we have any position of our crack, let's create click click done click okay now let's go to now let's create interaction in the initial step and create xm xfem grouting crack growth click continue and allow crack allow crack growth in this step step initial and click okay now let's go to boundary condition load step and create a cluster in the in the initial step and in the this surface this position click cluster okay let's return to our interaction module and create coupling between this reference point and this top surface click coupling click continue select constraint control point select reference point click on and select constraint region type surface and select these top surface click ok now we have this surface is depending to this reference point this is the master point and control point and this is the slave surface to this point let's go to load and apply Displacement in this point, displacement rotation, and click, click on, and select all direction without the movement in the y direction. Click OK. Now let's create force. Apply our force in the step one, concentrate force continue select reference point click on and concentrate force in the second direction 100 let's edit and apply this load in the form discrete this amplitude in the in this load click ok now let's go to mesh module and mesh our parts let's mesh our sheet mesh size that's 2.5 millimeter in the size of our mesh now we have mesh in our part let's go to shop create fm one continue and okay let's check our model first the following part have some element without any section assigned click yes We have awarded result, monitor, and too many attempts made for this increment. Let's go to step, others, 
General Solution Controls, Edit, Step 1, Continue, and let's change some parameters in this position there. Let's select this continuous analysis and change this value to 20. Okay. Now let's go to shop, submit. Okay. Continue. Yes. Running monitor. Completed result. Let's animate our failure. This is our result and failure situation. Let's select propagation and see the propagation of crack in our sheet and select this value also. Now let's go. Let's get force displacement curve file ODP file output. Continue integration point unique nodal and select reference reaction force, reaction force two and displacement in the second displacement two in the y direction. Plot. Let's select reference point. I think we. Reference point, let's hit like plot. This is our data for force and displacement. Operate on XY data. Let's combine displacement, reaction force, plot expression. And this is our force displacement curve. Let's now this is our result. I hope you enjoy with this video don't forget to subscribe in my youtube channel and make like for this video see you in the next video